The hyper yielding project isn't just about wheat. It's about boosting feed grain barley production as well. On this side, we have Planet Spring Barley. On this side, we have a UK barley, winter barley called Surge. One of the things that's happened over the last decade is that sowing dates have moved forward. And there's been a lot of research on wheat, but perhaps less so on barley. So both these barleys have been planted on the 5th of April. That's clearly too early here in Tasmania for a spring barley such as Planet. However, this winter barley, the difference is that it requires a period of chilling or vernalization as we describe it before it will go reproductive and produce the head. It's more suited to earlier sowing or extremely early sowing than the planet. And what happens with planet is that obviously with it being more temperature driven without that vernalization requirement, it starts to develop far earlier, in fact developing in what might be described as late winter, early spring. And the effect of that is that actually within this crop, we have two maturities. We've got what looks to be the crop developing normally, but lower down in, we can actually find heads that have already matured far more. And this were the, these were the groups of uh, heads or the heads that develop much earlier in the season. The problem with developing that early, and we can see it in heads like this, is that actually the head is frosted because it's emerged too early. And you can see rather like missing teeth, the grain sites have gone missing. So clearly not adapted for sowing that early in April, but interesting that in this case with water, the secondary tillers have started to produce a head of their own. Hence this mature crop amongst actually uh, developing heads 